Hi there, uh, today I am going to show you just a few bits and pieces on power apps. Uh, in fairness, it's really because I need to do some bits to this particular app and I thought, well, I'll just do a video while I'm doing it. So here we go. So the purpose of this app is to record family events and um, that's really just about it. It sort of categorizes them a little bit. Um, and so the other day we went to Madame Two Swords and we sort of took loads of photos. This is all of the photos that took place um, when we went to Madame Two Swords. So lots and lots of photos, wonderful, wonderful. Um, so these are all the different characters, quite good fun actually. But there are aspects of this app that aren't completely perfect. So I'm going to move back to that browse screen. You can see it's based on the original. Um, uh, kind of out of the box app, but I've kind of souped it up obviously. Um, so first thing I uh, need to do is I need to pop in a little navigate icon to take me back to my home screen. So I am going to go to insert and I'm going to get icons and I'm going to find an icon which is the home one. Probably gone past it. No, I haven't. Okay, here we go. There goes my icon. There's my icon. Um, gonna go up here wonderful and I am just going to do color color and I never bother with all this so I'm just going to put white and click on it and hey presto that's done I'm going to make it a weeny bit small to be fair it doesn't look completely um, the same as in it's a bit thicker and so on but you know life uh, life is too short for that so um, and then I'm going to put on on select properties so this is um, when when we click it what does it do and I'm going to do navigate uh, oh crumbs um, navigate uh, open brackets to uh, I should have a, like a landing page but I've obviously uh, when I started doing this I wasn't as experienced as I it's actually called screen three so do you know what I'm going to do is I am going to rename that I'm going to call it landing page because that's easier to read um, and I'm going to go into the browse screen yeah it's got a little upset thing so I'm going to do landing page good uh, landing page and then you have to do this fade thing and then close the brackets hit the ok on it and then if you hit the play button and click on it it takes you to the landing page wonderful um and now what i'm going to do is i don't it's a bit boring this uh, page so what i'm going to do is i am going to bring in a photo so let's go to media and we're going to go to images and i'm going to look at that i've got no images at all on this yay so i'm going to go to browse go and fight it's just a normal jpeg uh, i am going to go up to a gallery where i keep all my photos uh, and there's one called stormtrooper and i'm going to open that um, in comes my little stormtrooper and it's called stormtrooper and I'm going to go here and I am going to go media I'm going to put an image in um, it's going to go there uh, the image name is stormtrooper Tick. there we are uh, and I'm going to see uh, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to go to uh, view where is it I've got to send this to the back so home i'm going to reorder uh send to the back because i'm on my buttons um well, that's a bit rubbish isn't it so never mind i'm going to make the background black and then it won't seem as 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 bad um in fact this doesn't isn't really a button is it really of course it's an events app so i'm going to go create new item and i've got review items it's not absolutely gorgeous but it's it's kind of okay um and uh, you know what? I'll pop this little fella at the top. Um, good. Uh, I'll put create new item. It's it's not amazing if I'm honest. Uh, and then I'm going to go down to the bottom here. I'm going to go to the fill property. And see what color it's got. It's got I don't even know what that color is. I'm going to put uh, black and see how that goes. That's a bit better. Um, 
so not entirely sure i think the problem i've got with this image is that it's not quite the right size so what i'm gonna oh do you know i'm not i'm not gonna fix that now because i've got loads more things to do so i am now going to go to this review items because this is really the meat of what i want to do here so the problem i have is that it is far too easy to delete my items so um, and in fact I'm going to go for um this is just a walk I did with the dog and um, now the problem I've got here is if I click on this item then it literally will delete the whole thing and it's it's not very good it's a, a bad um, user experience so on select update oh that's quite good I've already done it oh what a shame um, Oh yeah, so that was it. Are you sure you wish to delete? Do you know what? I am going to show how um, I'm going to show how this is put together. So I am going to do the same thing as here. So what happens is um, uh, it's uh, this context is update context. This creates a kind of uh, a variable that only lasts for the duration of the screen. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this from scratch um, and I am going to um, uh, do a new update context thing. So you'll, you'll see in a minute. So the first thing I am going to do is I am going to insert a button and I'm going to make that button go down here um, I'll pop it there and and I'll do the same thing. And I go, are you sure you wish to delete? Great. Um, question mark. Uh, and then I am going to do uh, insert. I'm going to pop another button in. And I'm going to get down here. Um, and I'm going to do control all and do a yes button. And I'm going to copy that. And then uh, just did control C, control V. Um, and this is my no button. Um, interesting. Um, just make sure this is nicely lined up. You know. um, it looks okay. It's it's not amazing, but that there are mathematical ways, obviously, that you can do it. It looks quite nicely lined up, actually. So you can either do yes or yes. Um, so I need to say no on no on that. Um, and I am going to do a fill on this and make it green. Uh, and I'm going to do a fill on this and I'm going to do it as red. And uh, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to bind them all together. So I've just hit the control and selected them all. And I'm going to go to home and group and group. Um, and this is my, uh, what am I going to call it? Um, let's call it sheet, uh, let's get rename and say G R P R U sure. So that's what my uh, group is called. Um, now the visible property will be based on, I'm going to pop another update context. So I'm going to do hit the, uh, semicolon update context. So this is just creating a little variable. Um, Let's call it new warning. Um, let's call it are you sure? Are you sure? Um, and we'll put that as true. Um, and we'll say go on that. Um, and then, oh, so what happens is as soon as you hit that, what's going to happen is both these things will be set to true. So um, what I'm going to do beyond that is that's going to make this appear then the next thing to do is to go onto this group which is definitely not that one is i've got my are you sure group and the visible property is going to be are you sure good right so if i hit this which has never been set what you'll find is this uh, springs into life. Uh, are you sure you should delete? But absolutely nothing happens whatsoever if you click yes at the moment. Because if you look at the on select, uh, nothing happens. So uh, I'm just going to cheat here and just remind myself of what actually happens when you hit that. So remove blah 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 blah. Um, okay. Uh, that is quite clever. So what we're going to do is this is how you do um, a delete. 
so uh, is remove um, event from events list uh, now I don't because I don't use this very often I'm gonna have to cheat and go back here um, it's browse gallery one selected okay fine that's the that's the standard um, browse gallery one dot selected right and then so the first thing it's going to do is just remove it but it won't do any navigation beyond that so the next thing that's going to happen is I'm going to say um, update context hello update context you have to make sure you do these curly brackets are you sure which is a variable set and I put false so that's going to disappear great um, and what I'm going to do there is but on the no we have to make it disappear but we don't want to remove it so what I'm going to do is I am going to do update context so I'm going to grab this here and with the no one all it's going to do is um, oh <laughs> this is what can happen uh, not on the fill thing I'm going to do on select and um, we're going to do update are you sure to be false which means it'll disappear so what's going to happen now is um, are you sure you should delete and um, to be fair you could do with these being a little bit bigger bear in mind that um, you know fat fingers and all that but I'm, I'm going to leave it as a, it's pretty okay it's it's okay um, right so let's just check performance <laughs> Um, I don't actually want to click the yes button because it will actually delete it so um, so let's just check what happens on the play I am gonna hit the back button on this and uh, then I'm gonna move over what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a fictitious item uh, da -da -da -da, blah 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 I'll take a photo of the table um, and just click that that's selecting an item uh, put test uh, test wonderful uh, and then submit yay me have a picture of a bit of the kitchen um, and I'm gonna now move into the item here um, and yeah you can see that that uh, because we never came out of this we cheated and um, then it didn't behave itself so what we can do is make sure that we don't have any of this sort of slightly weird latent behavior and um, so what we can do is uh, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab it from here uh, I'm gonna grab update context are you sure it's false um, and make sure that when we hit the back button um, that actually appears so that um, this will actually disappear um, I am now going to I'm going to delete these I have confidence Yay. so are you sure you wish to delete um, and on this occasion because it's a load of rubbish um, I am going to just move on. I quite like using the play button. So uh, are you sure you wish to delete? And I'm going to press yes. And we can say goodbye to that item. Now, the other thing that hasn't done, interestingly enough, is it hasn't effectively done the back button. And that's what I would like it to do. So let's just move on to that I'm gonna do another test item I'm not gonna bother with a photo with this one I'm gonna put test and then say okay um, go into there and I will now move on to the item and there and just need to make sure that um, when we hit the button here on the sure you wish to delete what you would want to do would be um, add a back uh, button in there so in we go with the back button kaching and just hit the go and it's uh, returned back now this is oh yeah because we did actually delete it so um, so what I'm going to do is jump in here and have to create another one um, uh, but test 
uh, and then hit the submit item and move into here uh, so now we're going to do some real tests we're going to go I oh, should I'm going to say no so all that happens is it keeps appearing and disappearing uh, but if we do yes what will happen is it will delete it and it will step back so that's uh, all I fancy doing on this occasion so I feel a little bit better that um, that my app is now going to be um, working a, um, a little bit more effectively but um, yeah hope you like it oh that's a load of, load of nonsense there that's just a, a click through so yeah hope you like it and um, you've learned a few things along the way cheers bye